We're excited to announce Molly Fickner joining our staff as our head softball coach. Um, it was really, um, there was really a lot of interest in this position uh, from a national standpoint. And we reached out to a lot of people nationally, recruited, see who we could turn up and who would have some interest in this program. And the name that kept coming up is Molly's. Uh, I got a phone call from a former head coach that she worked with. Uh, I got a phone call from Pat Murphy at Alabama, who she played for at Alabama. Um, and I can say from a personal note, my time at Tennessee, uh, our paths crossed. We didn't know each other, but she was catching, and we were, we were playing against. And I can still remember the little fist pump on a strikeout, and it just would grate my nerves. I'm like, who is that kid, you know? So, um, you know, just the name, when I, heard, when I started hearing the name, I was like, I, I know her. I remember her. Um, and I, I can't, the unsolicited support um, that Molly got from across the country was really, really immense. Um, we, we talked to her, we got excited. Um, she is, the word on the street is she's the next rising star in softball. And she's gonna have a, a great long career and hopefully she stays here a long time. Um, and um, she came and visited with us and really blew everybody away uh, with her plans, her vision of what she think, what she believes she can do here and what we can be at ULM in softball. So um, I just want to introduce Molly, say we're glad you're here, welcome. Um, without further ado, Molly Fickner. All right. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be in Monroe, Louisiana. It is an absolute privilege and honor to be the University of Louisiana Monroe head softball coach. First, I want to thank Interim Athletic Director Scott McDonald and Executive Associate Athletic Director Todd Dooley for this amazing opportunity. The moment I met both of them, I knew I wanted to work with them. And I knew that together we could create something very special here. I also want to thank Jessica Thorne and Melanie Coyne they have been doing absolutely everything for this program up until now, and it is very appreciated, and I look forward to working with them. Since the announcement, I have received an overwhelming amount of support from the community, from alumni, and from this athletic department. I look forward to creating great relationships with the student athletes on and off the field. I'm committed to creating a culture designed to enhance the student athlete experience holistically in the classroom, in the community and on the field. Academics are my number one priority and the academic resources at ULM are tremendous. It is evident they truly care about success in the classroom and success in life after college. This is an incredible opportunity and I'm looking forward to the challenge of elevating ULM softball in the Sun Belt Conference. And I'm excited to watch these student athletes grow personally and professionally throughout the remainder of their career. Obviously, timing's been a bit of an issue right now, taking over this late in the game. And, but um, you know, how, how are you, what are your plans to kind of handle that and put your staff on this program while playing catch up at the same time? Yes, well, um, I'm, I'm a worker, so that doesn't scare me in the least, the timing of it. I think Jessica Thorne and Melanie Coyne have absolutely done so much to this point, which has helped me a ton, because they're catching me up on, on speed, and we can kind of build off the foundation that they've created here. And um, like I said, it's going to take a lot of work. I'm excited to get going. The time frame does not scare me. We still have months to prepare for February. Kind of what's, what's your philosophy then as far as you know, what, what, what your teams are going to look like and how they play the game? So my philosophy first as a coach is person over athlete at all times. And I am going to enhance the person as much as I'm going to enhance the athlete here. I want to build a winning culture. And what that entails is that entails a winning person. So we are going to build a foundation of a winning culture, and then everything on the field is going to take care of itself. Now, don't get me wrong. When we're, we're practicing, we're going to go to work. We're going to do the little things right. We're going to focus. We're going to be very detail-oriented to help us with those one-run, two-run games to get them. And then as soon as we start winning, we're going to take off, and that's going to be the standard at this point. Obviously, the culture is not going to happen over, overnight, 
but the point is in the next few years to just continue to elevate and elevate their this is the standard now now we're going to elevate more and just continually work up the ladder you know the softball team actually did pretty good uh the first half of the season especially in conference play uh with as much players as you have coming back in 2018 i guess how thrilled are you to be stepping in such a good situation i i'm very thrilled i i would not take a job that i don't think i could be successful at i'm excited about the returners i'm excited about the newcomers that have come in and, and I really think this program could be very, very successful this year and in the years to come. Well, I guess the first thing that kind of stands out is you're going to have four freshman pitchers. And I know that as a coach, you got your work cut out for you there. But you know, based on your experience, how can you kind of help you know, guide them to get them settled? Exactly. I think freshmen, you don't know what you're going to get just yet. Uh, the good news is that we have some fall games coming up. So we can kind of put them in those situations and see that where they're most comfortable. It is going to be a strategic planning as far as pitching, who can go how, how long, right? Who's, who's better starting, who's better closing. And that's something that we just have to figure out as soon as we can. Um, I think Melanie is going to do a great job with the pitchers again. I'm excited for her to run with it. But as a staff, we're going to be smart with how we utilize our pitchers this year. Made this job so attractive to you? Well, a little bit of back background on me is I'm from Houston, Texas. So everybody knows ULM Warhawks. I actually was not, uh, I never actually played here during my time. I went to University of Texas San Antonio for two years, never played here, transferred to the University of Alabama. I know we are actually going to play there this February, which I'm really looking forward to, but back then we still never played them. So this was my first time actually being on campus when I came on my interview. And the number one thing that obviously attracted me was the location. As I researched all the academics, there's so many resources, and I think that's a big recruiting tool as well. And because I am from here, the network of being able to grab the Southeast girls, the Texas, the Louisiana, Georgia, Alabama, Florida, now I don't have to make them come across country. It's a five hour drive, it's a six hour drive. That was very appealing. And then as soon as I got here, I was sold with the athletic department, the community, and everybody's on the same page. Everybody wants what's best for this, this university and, and the athletic programs. And, and I want to jump on board, and I'm ready to get going. There is a good brand of softball here in the area in, in North Louisiana. It always seems any time a new coach comes in here, mm -hmm. fans want to know how you're going to engage with the local Yes, so my recruiting philosophy is an inside-out approach. So the first thing I'm going to tackle is right here in Monroe, figuring out who I need to call, who's the good contacts, who are the maybe junior college coaches that know a lot of things around here, um, and then work my way out. Uh, I'm not going to go straight to California. I'm not going to go straight to Washington just now. I want to get to know this area and then expand out as I can. I want to get the local kids here. I think when you can get as many local kids as possible, you are going to get that fan base. You know, a, a, It's going to be a lot stronger with those local kids, and they're going to play a lot harder for this area because this is home to them. Thank you. Thank you.